They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Baiters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet. Gonna educate your palate right here in Farmer's Kitchen. In town, Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by... Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Rose Farm Supply. Family farming and commitment to our customers since 1982. Housewarmings, the outdoor living and fireplace experts. Parts working. What a beautiful Christmas choo-choo train. All right, let's talk about let's talk about last year's Christmas show first. Do you remember what, what happened last time? That cookie dough and flour got in my hair the whole time. How did flour get in your hair? I didn't get flour in your hair. Did you get flour in your hair? No. Because I remember this. That was not me. And it was not me Let me either. guess, that was your conscience. So if we, if we decide to go in here and do something in a little while, and make more Please cookies. Don't want cream on my nose again. You want cream on your nose again? Yeah. If we decide to go in here and do something in a little while. Put on my nose. I put on your nose. <laughs> Let me ask you something. If we decide to do cookies later, which we probably will. If you had to guess, what 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 do you put in cookies? What ingredients? Flour, eggs, butter, and sugar. What would you put in cookies? Uh. What ingredients? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. And cookies. Wait. Put, what do you put in it to make it to, before you mix it up? Oh, chocolate and chips. Chocolate chips. And marshmallows. Marshmallows. Okay, so we mix it all up, and what temperature should the oven be before we put it in? Nope, not, nope. I'll come back. What, what temperature do you want the oven to be? Uh, I don't know. Just a guess. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to give you three choices. Should it be 8,000 degrees? 6,000 degrees or 4,000 degrees? No, I said four. I would go with the lesser of those every time. What would you say? 350. 350? 350. 350? Do you think it's 350 or 4,000? 4, 4,000. That's what I'm saying. I like sugar cookies. Now, I'm not much on desserts, but I like Christmas cookies. You know Christmas cookies? Absolutely. Oh. And she makes really good Christmas cookies. How? Well, she makes them at 4,000 degrees. Yeah, she does. I saw it before. She I saw it before. all the time, Taryn. I make them with her. She puts it at, I think, 350. All right, if we talk about an old-time Christmas, like really old-timey, you know how you look at old pictures and they're black and white? <laughs> when I say Merry Christmas three times, we're going to go back to the old-fashioned days, and we might hear some old-fashioned Christmas music. All right, ready? All right, Merry Christmas. Get ready. Merry Christmas. My hair's still white. <laughs>
Okay, now to reverse this process, because I don't want to be like, you know, 1932 yeah. for the rest of my life, and we're going to have to say Merry Christmas three more times to come back, right? And so I say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. You see anything? No. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, and by the way, I should probably introduce this, these are my grandbabies. What's your name? Natalie. What's your name? Darren. Where do you live? In Jackson, Michigan. Where it's ice cold. You're really close to the North Pole up there. No, we're not. Yeah, you are. No, we're not. I saw Santa Claus at Walmart. <laughs> you want to go do cookies? Yes. You want to go make cookies? Yes. Yes. All right. And I don't want to eat at least everything cookies. So you want to do serious cookies tonight that we can actually eat? You want to do serious cookies? Yes. Yeah. Are you not ready? Cookies. All right, no, let's. No, 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 no cookies either. No nose cookies? Because okay. we can make our own nose cookies. No, thanks. Okay. All right, one more time on the train. Ready? All aboard. Here is a treat that I would recommend to people who don't necessarily like candy and a lot of sugar. I do this. This is a fig. Have you ever had a fig? No, now, no. this is like cheating at holiday time. You take a bite of a fig, and a cod, and when those flavors mix up, it's almost like a combi. I yeah. can do it with a date too. These are organic. And I bought these from Good Foods, and it's like the perfect snack. I'm not even cheating. Of course, we can have a little bit of sugar every now and then. What temperature are we going to cook the cookies at? Uh, I don't know, 55? Hmm? 55? I don't know. 55? Yeah. Okay. You like 55? Yeah. 55 sounds good. All right, I may have to alter the directions in this book just a little bit. So a little while ago it was 4,000, now it's 55. Would you prefer 55 or 4,000? 4,000. Boy, it's gonna be some hot cookies. All right, now these are Grandma Solomon's cookies. Now I was thinking they're Grandma Nikki Solomon's, but no, they're her mother's. So that was your, you never didn't know her, but that was your great-great-grandmother. <laughs> What? You're balancing the spoon. I know how to crack eggs. You know how to crack eggs? Yeah. 
I'm probably going to be in charge of cracking eggs. So remember last time I ended up in people's hair and everything, so I'm probably in charge. Wait, I got my hair last time. You got in your hair last time? Did she put stuff in your hair last time? No. Yeah. No. She, she cracked the egg. She put stuff in no, your I hair? I cracked the egg yeah. on Papa Tim's hair. And some fell on my hair. But, oh, I'm sorry. But I didn't put any in your hair. She put it in your hair. I know. Oh, what's up with that? Why were you putting stuff in her hair? I'm going to talk to your mom after this. Yeah, I saw her. Now, the oven is preheated to 55, 375 for 8 to 10 minutes. Now, in a minute, we're going to make the sugar cookies. But first, I want to hear some more Christmas music. I know these guys called the Moron Brothers. They're going to do a Christmas song. Watch this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Is that not amazing? No. I didn't think so. Christmas has always been a most happy time. Thinking back on my childhood was a favorite of mine. Lying in bed restless all night Christmas Eve. Wondering what old Santa Claus had brought me I still see a red wagon underneath the tree The year I got the new bike was special to me I slowly grew older, the true meaning meant more Best Christmas present ever came from a store Oh, the best Christmas present I ever received Came from God the Father, the day I believe He gave us forgiveness for the wrong we had done On the very first Christmas when He gave us His Son Hard candy, fruit baskets, goodwill in the air The family would gather that time every year all exchange presents, sing song, laugh, and shout. The best Christmas present, what it all was about. Oh, the best Christmas present I ever received came from God the Father, the day I believe. He gave us forgiveness for the wrong we had done on the very first Christmas when He gave us His Son. As I sit and watch all the young ones play I thank God I still feel that old joy that way I Tell them of the best gift so they'll know And then Christmas will always be happy for them Oh, the best Christmas present I ever received Came from God the Father the day I believe He gave us forgiveness for the wrong we had done on the very first Christmas when he gave us his son. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right, it's time to do these. Are you? Are you? Do you actually want to eat these cookies, or yes. do you want to give them to other people? Uh, I'll eat them too. So wouldn't it be? If It'd we're, be nice to give it to other people. So I'm thinking, I mean, it's Christmas, it's time to give. So why don't we take all these Christmas cookies, make them nice and beautiful and tasty, and then give them to the neighbors. Okay. How much should we eat and how much should we give to the neighbors? We should give us one, two, three, four. There's four people in this house anyway. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Let's follow the recipe. It's so simple. Here's how simple it is. We're going to take two and a half cups of flour. Do you want to dump it in or do you want me to? Can, I'll dump I it don't in. Get messy. We don't want to get messy because yeah. last time we got really messy and that was gross. Can put back in. You can start mixing it up here in a minute. All right, now this is baking powder and we only want a half a teaspoon. You don't want to do too much of that. Baking powder. Boom. Half a teaspoon. Now, butter. You gotta have some butter. And that is exactly one cup of butter, one egg. <gasps> nah, I'm just kidding. There's... I never crack eggs. You never crack eggs? I don't blame you. 
Now, let's come back at this point with three quarters of a cup of sugar. Yum. I'm and gonna mix it. we're gonna take some vanilla and we're gonna put exactly one teaspoon of vanilla in there. Hold it right there, that's perfect. All right, now when I fill it up, you pour it in. Perfect. No, it does smell good, smell it. Oh, it smells so delicious. I really want to mix it. You want to mix it? All right, go ahead and mix it with a spoon, and I'm going to come behind you with an actual blender. And while we're getting ready to mix it up, does anybody want to hear some more Christmas music? Okay. What song would you like to hear? Mm, we're not going to sing it. We'll, we'll sing that downstairs later, but right now, let's listen to Lauren Mink, and let's go back to our old-fashioned Christmas. Can I mix it? Mix it. Mix the fire out of it. It's hard to mix the butter. It is hard to mix. Let's hear some more mink as we fade into a Christmas past. Here comes the picture. Ah! Here we go. Now, we're gonna take it. You wanna help me do this? You wanna make little balls out of it? Yeah, I know. You gotta squeeze it, all right. Let's, you, I'm, gonna get you, I'm gonna give you one. Get a scoop. Here, I'm gonna give you the amount that I want you to make into a cookie shape, all right? Take it, use both hands, wad it up. Make, make a snowball out of it. Any? Ready? Yeah, mash it all up into a snowball, into a perfect circle. Look at mine. Oh yeah. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them out and smash them down just a little bit like that. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you can put on these to make them yummy. Now some people use, you know, I'm getting particular in my old age. I'm trying to think like healthy stuff. So you know some of the stuff that you use has all kinds of artificial dyes in it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well guess what? We're not gonna go that route. We're gonna go with yummy stuff like some cranberries, marshmallows, we have some chocolate chips, pecans, almonds, and coconut. So as we go through here, first of all, on our already greased pan, we'll put our cookies out. I'm gonna give you some more. Make me another snowball. All right, now, here's the fun part. Now, if you had the perfect cookie, what would you put on it out of these ingredients? A chocolate chip and marshmallow. Ch just chocolate chip and marshmallow? You wanna do one? I want you to do that one right there. So there, there's your ingredients. Put, let me think, put four of each on there. Let's see what it looks like. One, 
What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Okay, now mine's gonna be, hmm, I'm gonna take some coconut and a pecan. That's my perfect cookie. What would you like, Nanny? Let's do this one right here. But it must be beautiful. Now later on, we've got some icing right here. It's very simple. And you can put these on after they bake, and oh my goodness, it is delicious. It's two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of corn syrup, and just a little bit of water until it gets to about that consistency. And that way when they come out, you can put that right on there. Huh? You want to eat them now? We got to bake them. What temperature are we going to bake them? 55. <laughs> Let's just everybody dig in and start decorating them. Let's leave a couple open for icing. These are about ready to go in the oven at 55 degrees. Are we ready? I eat this. Nope. You should probably eat it. Why? Because it's good. All right, I'm going to put them in the oven. No, I don't believe that. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to start taking these things off, set them over here so they can cool over there. That one's mine. That one's yours. There's some beautiful... That one's still mine. That one's still yours? I know this one's yours because it looks like Stonehenge. <laughs> I really want to eat one, but... Well, we got to let them cool down first. Watch this. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to... Put icing on it? Yeah, I better do it because dri it'll drip and they get everywhere. Okay. We don't want to get stuff in your hair, do we? Just drizzle that on. Oh, look at that. Now we don't get to do anything. Yeah, you do. You get to watch. Now, don't you think it'd be nice to give all of these away? Not even mine away? Should we probably save a couple? Yeah. I'll save a couple. Now, these, you could call these, you could call these sugar cookies, or you could call them butter cookies. Or Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies. They're really buttery. Okay, you ready to, let's put some more stuff on. Help me out here. Okay. On the icing ones, put whatever you want on there. Put something, that one's already done. Put something on there, Nanny. Put some on. Here, let me ice you another one. They don't have icing and junk. All right, Nanny, it's up to you. What do you want on? Mm. I'm gonna let Nanny do that one. I'm yeah. Some pecans. Probably some pecans. Look what a beautiful plate of cookies. Now let's talk about these cookies. Mm, I made this one. I made, I made, that one. I made this one. I made, I made this one. I made that one. Wait, I, made I, made one. I made that one. I made that one. I made that one. Who made that one? No, no, you can't eat them yet. No, 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 my mom and dad, my sister, and only me. And only you. Now, we're going we're gonna to have all these wonderful cookies in just a minute. But first, we're going to say, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From our family of yours, it's all about good times. Good friends. And cookies. And I want that one right now. Yum. Oh, my. Christmas time is right around the corner, and once again, you have to find a gift for that hard-to-buy-for family member on your list. At TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com, this problem is solved. That's TimFarmersCountryKitchen.com. Special thanks to... Kentucky Beer Cheese, Polecat Custom Smokers, and Weisenberger Mill.
Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen brought to you by Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight.